family's all about loving the people, putting all your differences aside, and doing anything you can for your family. I'm very proud of our players and our coaches and, and our staff for building the culture that we have that's family-based. And Out of all the commandments we have, we have 12, and the 12th one is family. That's the one that's said the most by our players. You know, when we break the team down between family and one pack, one goal, that's probably what you're going to hear 90% of the season. And I think that's the one thing that our players really buy into. They want to take care of each other. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>
into these players and <clears throat> look forward to doing everything we can to play our best football in this game. I think the rivalry game should always be the last game of the year. I think there's just something to that. And senior day on rivalry game is a big deal. And uh, there isn't a fan out there that doesn't want us to win this game, right? It's personal to them. Senior day is personal to me, probably more than anything. So there's a lot. You know, you want to win it for your fans, but you want to win it for your seniors, you know? So there's a lot that goes into it. Oh, it's the last Tuesday. Ah! Hey, you want to know how you really test family? What? With a trust fall. Hey, family. Yeah, family Watch that, I'm gonna get BJ. Hey, family, bro. I have an older brother, and so, um, Growing up, we always competed against each other and, and everything we did, and we were always like um, messing around with each other, always fighting and, and tussling and stuff like that. And now I, I get around guys, and I'm doing the same thing with them because I feel like they're my brother now. And so I'm always like, with Justin on game day, I'm like, let's see who gets to the ball first. Let's see who does this and that first. And me and BJ always playing around me in the street, always fighting and stuff. We live together, so there's a lot of similarities between us and, and my actual brother. And I, I feel like over the fa uh, past four years, we've really grown. Can't run that play with BJ and Contavious that time. No, sir. Check it to the other side of the truck. Yes, sir. Check that play to the other side of the truck to run that play. They can't run that play. They Strong can't. Side, right side. This is strong to us, a weak side. We came a long way from day one at first. Because at first, we, it was only me, Street, and Justin, and because Chubb was at linebacker. Then next year, Chubb came on uh, to D line with us, and it just started building. We just knew. If we want to be a good D-line, we have to come close and, and be a family together, and, and we just stuck to that. That's why I think we play so hard and well together. From the outside looking in, you couldn't tell me that we didn't have the same mama. You put it like that, you know, we just, we that close. Like, I argue, I argue with them, you know what I'm saying? I cry with them, I laugh with them, you know what I'm saying? They get on my, get on my nerves, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I know that they're still my brother. They all still my brothers, and I love them. I'm already getting emotional, bro. Like, I told myself I wouldn't. Skirt, skirt. Yeah, let's go. Good luck in. Hey, come on, let's go. Hey, great practice, man. Get that, boy. Try it again. I think the community as a whole, as a college, I feel like you're one big family. You know, you share experiences and everyone, like, everyone is linked together in some some way. But when I'm away from it, I feel like I'm, like, that that whole circle gets condensed to me and, you know, my close circle. I'm really gonna miss that, the whole college feel. Justin Jones is my favorite player. Let's go ahead, good game, bro. Let's go on mic, though. Huh? Let's go have a mic on. Oh. Uh, me and Justin are always talking, Justin always joking around that um, I'm going to be at your house for Thanksgiving with all my kids. And it's going to be, uh, I definitely see us sticking around for 20, 30, 40 years and, and just all getting together and talking about old times, talking about what our coaches did, talking about what each other did and just stuff like that. It was like, we're going to be talking about this at the table with all our family and nobody's going to know anything that we're talking about but us. We're just laughing about it. BJ and his 30 kids and with his 15 kids and just at the table having a big old family reunion and a big old Thanksgiving. My family, I, I got all girls in my family, but my dad and just being here, just having brothers is, is special. It's, it's a little different from having all girls in my family and to all these guys. It's just, it just pretty much are my family. Um, I treat them like they're one of mine. You gonna miss me? Thought you was gonna say no. Who's mic'd up today? I think should. Uh, <laughs> we good? All right, just make sure we, you know, we get our communications line up. Uh, make sure we got our eyes on the key. Make sure you got your eyes on your key. And the softest person at practice today was you, Chubb. Let's go. Whoa. Let's go, ready? Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. Pack on two. Pack on two. One, two. Pack. There we go. Family. Yeah. Love. I'm gonna just miss the, the the family aspect of everything that we had here, just the uh, 
going up to uh, one another, just talking about random stuff and all that. But I know it's going to be a family beyond this, but uh, I'm gonna definitely miss seeing everybody every day. When I think of my family here in Mississippi State, my football family, I think about the guys that I've, I've transitioned into a man with, the guys I've bled with, I've sweated with, cried with, um, the guys that I love, you know, day in, day out, that we go through the same struggles, uh, we, we see things the same way. Everyone plays a role in my life and everybody, you know, has some kind of meaning to me. BJ and Chubb always ask me, you know what I'm saying, like, you gonna cry when you, when you walk out of the tunnel? I, was, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think I will, but I think if I see my mama cry, then I, I'll probably start crying too. And that'd be the main thing, but it's not supposed to be that sad. You know what I'm saying? supposed to be happy. Like, it's just, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a good, a good ceremony. Like, it's, they, they praising us. The bond we built here, um, since day one we stepped on campus until our last game of the season, I think we'll always be um, brothers. People say it a lot, you know, blood makes you a relative. It does. But it's all the experiences that you go through. It's all the shared adversities that you go through that make you feel like family, you know? There's people that have a dad, don't even know who he is, or mom, never met her, you know? Yeah, they're related, but that doesn't mean that they're really family. You know, family to me is someone that you would do anything for and how do you get to that point well you, you that's something you earn as a person you don't all of a sudden become a trusted friend you know and you have to earn that and that's the part of football that makes it such a great sport i think is there's so many different guys from different places and we're all chasing the same thing together and getting them to all play for each other is that's the challenge as a coach listen to me listen to me just make sure you understand where your mind needs to be because they've come here and they've taken care of business. We've gone there and taken care of business. All right, we beat them in our stadium on senior day, which is what we all want to have happen. All right, we would have beaten them now three of the last four years, eight of the last 11. That's how life should be. All right, but you can look at yourselves because you've been there in these games with them. They're going to come with everything they got just like we are. Don't take them lightly. This game's been going on for 115 years. You owe it to yourself, you owe it to our family, and you owe it to your seniors, man. Trust me. And all the love you have for all the brothers in this circle ought to be displayed on this football field. That's what the week's about. Make sure that you have an edge to you. Everybody hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Get up in here, let's go. <laughs> family out, two, one, two! Family. Ready, Tim? Let's do this. Was that Mike? That's Harry. The car stopped for me. And that's automatic emergency braking. The Nissan Rogue family take on today. Bottom line, they still can't touch you. <laughs> I'll take it. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> There's something out there driving you, calling you, pulling you in closer and closer. And once you find it, it starts all over again. Where will your curiosity take you? Your electric cooperative is different. We're local, not-for-profit, and owned by those we serve. Our mission is to provide power at the lowest possible cost with the highest standard of service. We're different in a good way.
Good afternoon. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving weekend. Thanks for spending part of it with us for another chapter in the biggest college football rivalry our state has to offer. This rivalry began in 1894, which makes Carolina State's oldest rival in addition to its biggest. It's senior day at Carter-Finley Stadium. 20 Wolfpack seniors are going to be recognized before kickoff today. Uh, I think uh, everybody out there that is a Wolfpack fan knows this is a, a very close-knit team, very family-oriented type team. To me, the biggest accomplishment that you can have as a coach is when you sign a player and graduate a player and you're there for the whole journey with them and you get to see them walk out of here with that smile on their face. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, and the wins and losses are big and that's part of the journey, you know. But uh, to see Bradley Chubb and, and Tony Adams and all these guys, they all have different paths, you know, and to see them finish it and know that I was there from start to finish with them is a big deal. That's one, baby. Y'all right here, look at me right now. Y'all love y'all to death, man. Get to death. Let's hunt, man. Let's hunt. Let's hunt. Let's hunt. Get up in here. Let's go. Time to go hunt. Everything you got. Every single play. Hit like you want it more than they do. Tackle like you want it more than they do. Finish blocks like you want it more than they do. Rush the passer like you want it more than they do. Intercept the ball. Score a touchdown. Finish plays. And have more fun than you've ever had today. That's what today is, man. It's a celebration of a bunch of special freaking guys. Let's go get it on for them. Everybody hear me? Get yes, sure. up in here tight, boys. Get up in here tight. Family, I do want to! Williams at the five-yard line, near sideline. He'll take it up the sideline, cross to the 20, whack down hard at about the 24-yard line. Throws a pass out the right flat to the tight end. Fred, who hurdles a defender, and then is whacked out. It's a rugby punt, low liner to Gavin Locklear. He'll catch it on the 25-yard line, middle, up the middle to the 35, 40, 45, 50, still moving, and brought down on an ankle tackle at the Carolina 45-yard line. Listen, listen, pay attention, pay attention. We gotta get this call right. They're gonna come back to this formation. This guy was uncovered. All right, this guy was uncovered. You was awesome, all right? It's gotta be fun. You see two guys right here. You gotta make that call, man. Bentley looks to his left. He'll throw left. He's got Myers open. He's got it. And his momentum carries him out of bounds in front of the Carolina bench. Here's Bentley rolling to his right, looking, looking, firing sideline, diving catch made by Myers, but was he inbound? Yes, he apparently was inbound. First quarter, no score from Carter Finley Stadium on senior day. Here's Finley sneaking. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, State. Here's Elliott, handoff Carter on the left side. Pack's got it. They're going to bring him down for about a one yard loss at least. Elliott hands off to Carter. Carter is brought down by Chubb, but he still makes positive yardage. You did. You were like this. Here and your feet were together. Get a base on it and keep driving into him. You just sustain that block. Elliott to throw in the pocket. Fires long over the middle. Open right on the him. He's got it. Five yard line. Cruises into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. All right, come on. Let's finish this drive now. Finley to throw. He'll air it up uh, down the right sideline for Myers. He's got it near the 50 yard line. Right in front of his head coach, Dave Doran. And off Hines with Cook in front of him. Tries to turn the corner. Metz dropped in his own backfield. We know, we know how they're going to attack this defense. Oh, and off to Carter. Metz dropped in his own backfield at the 20 yard line. Here's Elliott firing. And Carter's got it to 10 5. Touchdown, Carolina. Get your vision on the quarterback. So we can't lose. Him. Keeping option pitch to Hines around the right side. He's going to be thrown for a loss. They're not getting an edge. Nobody's coming up here playing outside of you, Will. Back to throw Elliott. He's under the rush. He's going to be dragged down by Roseboro. Sacked all the way back near the 42-yard line of Carolina. Handoff, Hines around the right side on the sweep. Makes a man miss. Up the sideline, 40, 45, 50. Back out of bounds in Carolina territory. Finley takes the snap, looks, fires toward the right sideline, and there's Harmon. Hell, he's got it! Inside the 10-yard line, dragged out of bounds. Here's Finley. Faking, he's going to keep it into the end zone. Right side, touchdown. Beautiful fake to the back. Oh, oh, no. No. Here's Elliott. He's going to be sacked back at the 39-yard line. 
Finley firing left side, right over to Spires, left side, left 40, 45, 50, out of bounds. Finley flush to his right. Now he's going to have to unload it, puts it up for grabs. It's intercepted by Wolfhook at the 28. Wolfhook to the 30, 35, up the right hash, Wolfhook, and he's finally gang tackled at the 45. Back will come on a delayed blitz. Here's the handoff to Brown, and the blitzer who came in hit him first. That was Arias Moore. And then Bradley Chubb cleans up. It's a loss on the play. Right away, put the pressure on, man. When we put the pressure on, it's over with. You know that, you know that. They cannot run the football. Understand that, they're gonna, they gonna throw the football. We're gonna get trick plays, we're gonna get gadgets. All right, understand that. The only way that team beats you is if you let them beat you. Yeah. I need leadership from my senior class. Let's do it. Leadership. If you wanna win, you gotta earn the win. It's zero, zero. Hand off to Hines. Hines on his own run. Now cuts it back to the middle of the field. Got a little running room. He's in the 30 yard line to the 35, out to the 38. Hand off Hines. He's into the secondary 50 yard line, 45. Down the right side, 40. Breaks free, 20. He's going all the way. Touchdown, Naheem Hines. 54 yards, and the Pack's got the lead. Get up, baby. Let's go. Elliott takes the snap, back rushing three. Here's a throw, it's tipped and intercepted at the 47 yard line. Coming out of there with it for State is Arius Moore. That way, that way, that way, yeah, who's that, baby? Hand off Hines, don't run over the right side. Hines, he's got a crease, 40 yard line, 35, 30. He is going to break three at the 20, 10, touchdown State. You got her? Let's go, baby. Hey, why you got to do it to like that? Why you got to do it to like that? Do you want to win today, bro? Y'all trying to win, bro. I want to talk about the win. I want to see you as the win, bro. Why you going so crazy? In the pocket, throws out on the right side, and it is caught by Fritz. He makes a spin move to the 40, 45, and out close to midfield. He fakes the handoff. Looking, looking. Throws end zone. Ball caught. Touchdown, Carolina. We got to run that ball. Finley is flushed. Now he throws out left flat. Ball caught by Gillespie. Makes a man miss. 30 yard line down the sideline. Shoots. Great tackle. Handoff going to Jalen Samus. Breaks free in the secondary. 20, 15. And they spin him down at the 10 yard line. Handoff. Samuel. Samuel's got a hold. He's the five yard line in the end zone. Touchdown, State. That was the dagger. Gasp effort to try and get back into this game with 35 seconds left. Four wide receivers, three to the left. They're going to rush four. Here's Elliott throwing over the middle. It is intercepted at the 15-yard line. Intercepted by Pratt. Pratt to the 20, 25, out to the 30. Up the left sideline, 40. 50-yard line, starting to pull away. And he there's a missed tackle at the 20, and now brought down from behind at the 15-yard line. That should do it. Bring out the victory formation and run out the clock. There's something out there driving you, calling you, pulling you in closer and closer. And once you find it, it starts all over again. Where will your curiosity take you? Ready, Tim? Let's do this. Was that Mike? That's Harry. The car stopped for me. 
and that's automatic emergency braking. The Nissan Rogue family take on today. Bottom line, they still can't touch you. <laughs> I'll take it. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> Your electric cooperative is different. We're local, not-for-profit, and owned by those we serve. Our mission is to provide power at the lowest possible cost with the highest standard of service. We're different in a good way. This portion of One with Wolfpack Football is presented by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, bringing real Coke taste with zero sugar and zero calories to Wolfpack fans everywhere. We got uh, words of the week each week, and all those words have benefited me, not on the field, but off the field as well. Pride, taking pride in my schoolwork, taking pride in how I treat people, loyalty being loyal to my teammates, to my family. The hard work, hard working in the classroom, hard working in order to be good on, to the, on the field. Um, coach has always been on me about um, maturing and th throughout my four years here, and I feel like I've matured a whole lot. I've, I've seen um, the good and bad of situations, and that's helped me a lot throughout this uh, process, and the, my brother's been with me the whole time, so it's definitely helped. I definitely felt like I've grown. They're great young guys and uh, they're going to be very successful um, working wherever they end up and whether they get to continue to play, some of them will, some of them won't, but they're going to all be successful. They're really good uh, human beings, they're hard workers, they're tough, they're loyal, they're accountable, they're a lot of fun you know, to be around and that's what you want. You want to see a guy fulfill his dreams on the field and, and hope that he gets to continue and if not, know that he's going to be somebody that's a leader in the industry that uh, he chooses to be in. As a person, they're all very prepared, um, very prepared. Shout above our heads, and we kiss. It's been rewarding, it's been fun coming to work every day, watching these guys compete and practice and the staff and the chemistry we have. It's also been heartbreaking at times and, and then uh, you know the next day you come in and get back to work. So that's the highs and lows of college football. Um, you want them to stay up here more, but sometimes things happen and you have to be able to deal with them when they do. And I think, you know, as you look back on it, I don't think there isn't anything that, you know, you can say you wish you would have done this differently with these guys because they are giving us everything they got. But the guys have battled and fought and it's been a great journey with them.